That's how it's gonna sound underwater. Oh, that's an iPhone 8. Happy birthday. Wow, is it gonna work? I'm Mr. Lysak, and this morning we're going drone hunting. Nick over here, we got Chris is in the block, and we got Griffin that you guys have seen before. We got the pontoon boat, and we are heading over there to the cove that you saw us dive a couple weeks ago trying to help Andy find his drone. That drone is yet to be found, and with any luck, we're gonna find that drone today. Now here's something you guys have to know about Nick and Chris. They're like master scuba diver certified. Like if you don't know what that means, just know that they're a lot better at diving than me. They're also great at search. In fact, check out their little company here. Muff diving is not what you think it stands for. It actually stands for mobile underwater find and fix. Muff divers right here in Bend, Oregon. So if you've lost anything, call me first. If I can't find it, then I'll bring in the big guns for sure. Sounds good. As many of you know, Kiki is my camera girl. I asked her if she wanted to come out diving today with a bunch of old dudes on a boat. For some reason, she declined my offer, which leads me to be Mr. Scuba Scuba and camera guy today. So you guys are getting selfie style. All right guys, so what we have ahead of us today, we've got this uh, closed area sign. I've been told that it's somewhere right here in the middle. Figure what we'll do is we'll kind of do a uh, radius pattern. Is what you were saying, Chris, would be a good idea. And then we can do a uh, north to south pattern as well. It's about 40, 42 feet right here where we're at and gets up right up there by that buoy all the way up there. Gets to about 20 feet. Start out with like something like this, I guess. All right, should we go down? Similar to that iPhone 10, I've been trying to find the river. Same thing goes for the drone. Still haven't found it. We'll have to come back later on in the next week or two. Fingers crossed, maybe we can find it then. So hang tight, we're gonna head over to the marina, go see what kind of treasures we can find over there. And since we can't take the camera underwater, we'll turn the GoPro on, we'll leave the camera with Nick as well. We'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Stamattina mi sono alzato e ho trovato l'invaso. Stamattina mi sono alzato. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Stamattina mi sono alzato e ho trovato l'invaso. Oh, partigiano. Thank you. 
It's my new camera guy. He's not as cute as Kiara. He'll work for today in a pinch anyway. This is my second load that I just brought up. There's three or four chairs down there as well that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna head back down. Once I come back up and I'm actually out of air, we'll kind of go through all this. But real quick, I wanna show you not just all this garbage, but I got me another iPhone today. I also found, oh left, let's not forget about the Razer scooter here and a Sprint 8TC phone. Now, I don't know if you're into salsa or not, Nick, but I got you some tortitos. I haven't found an expiration date on here yet. So while you're hanging out for me while I'm grabbing those chairs, feel free to crack that open. Enjoy yourself a little bit of salsa. Haven't found you any shades yet, but if you wanna do a little bit of reading, I think these might be, uh, your prescription, I'm not sure. All right, Nick, we'll see you in a few minutes.
on this round. There's another chair down there still that I'm gonna head back for. Whew, this is like a big old gold mine of treasure. I don't even know how much air I got left. I should have a good 1,200 pounds still. Yeah, I got 1,200 pounds still, so we're gonna make another round. I was all tangled up down there too, like fishing line. Look, I got like a Mr. Incredible here. <sighs> was all tangled up in fishing line, and I got tangled up in the same fishing line. I was like, ah! And the anchor got wrapped around my arm. Like this stuff can be dangerous. Not just dangerous for me, but dangerous for people that are jumping in the water. Nick, you need any uh, chairs to hang out in while you're waiting for me? Sure. You want the uh, green one? Sure, I'll take the green. Oh yeah, this one's got a place for oh, your cup holders. Yeah. In fact, I've got you a nice Mike's hard lemonade here. Oh yeah. So I'll set that right in there for you. Looks like you have a fishing lure in there as well. So do a little fishing, enjoy your mic. I'm gonna jump back in there, go see what else I can find. Before I do that, looks like I gotta untangle myself. Look, I got fishing line stuck on me. Oh, I might have a hook stuck in me. It's never a good thing when you have a hook stuck in your dry suit. Uh oh. Puncture it. Oh, do I have two anchors? Oh no, that's the same anchor. <laughs> Throw it out there. I feel like I'm still tangled in all of this. Fishing line, fishing lures. My flippers are stuck in there. This is not as easy to get back in the water as I thought. I think we got a good 40 feet of rope there for you as well. All right, does it look like I'm clear this time? Looks like you're clear. Oh, oh, except for that. So that's what I do just to make sure that I don't have any line on me. I lay down on the shore line just like this before I get back in the water. All right, see? That's how us pros do it. We'll see you again in a bit. Later, later. five feet and back just like that another chair this is like one of those little oh, I thought it was like a Tommy Bahamas chair another rope Nick I got you a little friendship bracelet buddy always wanted one of those from you man beautiful I still got a thousand pounds of air I'm gonna go hit this one more time on the other side of the dock down to 40 feet see what else I can find and then uh, we're gonna call this one all right I'll be back Will you take on
I've only been gone, what, three minutes? Yeah, about three minutes. I it keep wasn't telling you one more diet, but wow. I can just hand over fist down there. I got another chair, another iPhone. Check that nice. out. Nice. Oh, it, sh it shot. Look at this whole side of it. It's already expanded with the battery there. Oh, yeah. Well, that's two iPhones out of here, three phones total, two pairs of sunglasses. Oh, no. I lost the knife. There was a knife that I found as all also, like a buck knife. Oh, nice. Oh, but I lost it. Two more pairs of sunglasses, some weights if you want to go fishing. I don't know what that is. Is that a vape pen? Yeah, it looks like it. 700 pounds still. All right, that's enough for one more quick in and out. I'm gonna go hit that line, see if I can find the uh, knife that I just lost. Back down to that 40 feet, back up. Cool. I'll see you in three more minutes. Good luck. I think it actually belongs in an old timer. Oh, two more pairs of sunglasses. That's just after another uh, couple of minutes. Wait, you got an iPhone in there? Yeah, man. Yeah, but that's, oh, that's an iPhone 8. Happy birthday. Wow, is it gonna work? Fair paperweight. Between two of us, we found two iPhone 8 Pluses in the last couple of days. What else have you got in here? Holders. Do you need any of those, uh, any rod holders on your boat here, Nick? I think we got plenty of that. <laughs> and uh, hey, uh, Griffin, what do you got too? We don't want to exclude you. Bring your uh, items over here. Two fishing poles. I have some uh, weights over there and uh, plenty of lures to go with your fishing poles. Rod holders I found. And that gives us uh, four of them, huh? Sunglasses. sunglasses. Like everybody, everybody, doesn't matter who you are, is if you're a diver, you get in the water, you're going to find sunglasses. I found a traffic cone. Here, check this out real quick. Up here. So we got, uh, I pointed out uh, one of these earlier, but we got fire planes all over the place. And if you look just beyond the ridge over here, there's like a great big fire that's going on right now. So those fire planes are just like one after another. And these are like the jet fire planes. They're dropping that retardant in there all the time. Luckily, it's not over here. We had a little bit of smoke that socked in this morning, but not much. Makes breathing terrible, but unless you're hooked up to your scuba tanks, you really don't have to worry about it. You can breathe anywhere. Oh, these guys are still going through their garbage. Let's uh, see what else they got. I got a Coke can and that I anchor right there. That's a good looking anchor too, though. Yeah. You got a knife in there too? Oh yeah. 
So if anybody wants to butter their bread, choo -choo -choo, we got a butter knife for you. Well, good find, guys. I really like uh, the treasures we pulled out over here. Now, not to one up you guys, but I have to show you guys what I found over there. Griffin saw a sneak peek of it. Chris, you've not even seen it yet, yeah, have you? Let's go look. For all mine, I kid you not, I'm gonna need two 50 gallon garbage bags. I have no idea what this is. Uh, it looks like it belongs on the dock. So you don't fall between them. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, it's actually a strip that goes between the docks. I see now. All right, see, Chris is smarter than me, for sure. We don't need a rope, bottles. Oh, I did find. Nick, did you break into that salt cell while I was underwater? No, not yet, but it was tempting. All right, so we'll leave that for uh, Chris. I've got some salt cell. I don't know if it's expired or not. Been refrigerated, so it should still be good to go. Did you bring the chips today? Once in a while, I like to pretend I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> Griffin, you're late. <laughs> Get down and give me 15. One day, if this YouTube thing doesn't work out, I would become a lifeguard. Now this bag, I don't even dumped out yet and I can't even remember, like I said, I was picking stuff up left and right. I can't even remember everything that we actually pulled out of here. Bottles, oh, and just in case we want to talk to each other underwater. Griffin, Griffin, <coughs> it's actually it's gonna be more like this. It's gonna be like, <coughs> that's how it's gonna sound underwater. For those of you who do fish, you're gonna know. For those of you who do not, let me tell you what this is. Comment below first. Tell me if you know it. Okay, did you comment? Okay, perfect. This is actually to get hooks out of fish. So you take and you run this down the fishing line, push it, twist it, pull it out, and your hook is out from the fish's throat. In addition to fishing gear, we have some eggs and some weights. Griffin, is that your size? I uh, no, I'm sadly not a child anymore. <laughs> but it might be a Kara's size. Yeah, she, yeah, that's not her color. So we'll go ahead and toss that one. I got a new little flipper flipper for you. Actually, I'm gonna keep that. Like, I never know, like, in the future what my fans actually want, so I have, like, a whole pile that I'm keeping at home. I'll sign it if anybody wants it. I'm gonna sell it to you, like, make you pay for shipping stuff, maybe 20 bucks. Eventually, that's gonna come, and I'll put that stuff on my website and sign it from Mr. Legic for you. Glasses, glasses, lots of sunglasses. As you guys know, we never have a shortage of sunglasses whenever we go out. Check out those green Oakleys today. Oh, I like those. I'm gonna clean those up. Nick, I can almost see this is your style too. Oh yeah. You like those? I'm gonna, for sure, I'm gonna clean those up and on the next dive that we do together. Is that, is that a Stretch Armstrong? No. It's oh, a yeah. uh, incredible, Mr. Incredible. Yeah, well, you guys are talking about this guy here? Yeah. Isn't that Mr. Incredible? Comment below. We really don't know who this is. And I'm sure that one of you do. The first commenter that actually comments below and knows what this is, I'll actually send it to you. I'm not even gonna charge you for shipping this time. I'm just gonna send it to you. You gotta be a US resident because international shipping is just way too much. Did you find the paddle border that leash was attached to? Uh, I did find, I did not find a paddle border attached to this leash. Oh, oh that's, that's actually still a good paddle connector doohickey. Yeah. Is that a vape pen down there? I do have a vape pen right here. I'm not a vapor, so I'm guessing it's a vape pen. Griffin, you're a, uh, you used to be a prosecutor. You're an attorney. I mean, you've seen like lots of evidence over the years. Is that a? It's a vape pen. Well, we're gonna go ahead and toss that so that way we don't encourage any bad habits. So unfortunately, nobody can pick this up for me. In the garbage, it goes. And who doesn't need an oversized wrench? I'm gonna say that's what, uh, 18 millimeter? Three quarter? Now Chris ended up finding a phone today, an iPhone 8 Plus. I'm gonna say he actually beat me as far as quality goes looks like it might even still fire up I got him on quantity though I did get two iPhones as well as a Sprint HTC somewhere there's an old timer who's missing his old timer knife found that in the lake in fact I had to find it twice because the first time I came up it fell out of my hand because I didn't have my dye bag and it was just like boom 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 I was just picking stuff up left and right so I had to go back down luckily I found that little old timer knife a second time around as many of you know, Delta Pro Scooters is one of my sponsors. In fact, they're sponsoring this video right now. If this kid had himself a Delta Pro Scooter, he would have not tossed it in the lake like he did with that Razor Scooter because Delta Pro Scooters, whether it's the Recon, the Mach 1, or the new Dark Horse deck that came out, nobody wants to throw those in the water. Those are keepers for sure. So be sure to check out DeltaProScooters.com if you're looking for a high-end scoot scoot Push, push, scooter, scooter. And last but not least, we found not one, not two, not three, not four, but five lawn chairs in the lake today. Nick, you need a lawn chair? I don't need one, but I kind of want to take one just to say I did. Do Recycle it, take it. it, clean it up. That one's, that one actually looks like a really good one. In fact, you know, I kind of need a new lawn chair as well, but uh, I did offer it to you first. Take that one. I'm going to take the green one home with me. I'm going to throw the other three up by the dumpster. Maybe somebody will want them. Maybe they won't. Thank
Thanks for hanging out for another episode of Adventures with Purpose with Griffin, Nick, Chris, as well as myself, Mr. Lysak. We're gonna go check out another dive, so again, make sure you subscribe so you can see that video come out later on. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thank it's been you. a good one, Chris. Super fun. Thank you. We did good. We saved the environment. Well, at least a little portion of it anyway. And if you want to check out Nick Rin and his little muff divers, muff muff, Nick Rin is going to be his YouTube page. In fact, I'll even make it easy on you and link it down below. Later, later. Thanks for joining us. Over and out. We'll see you next time. Boom. Wow. Do, do.